Tom here from Orange Systems, and I did a video just the other day about the issues currently faced with PFSense and WireGuard. And that video, of course, became a hot topic, so to speak, and people uh, really got confused re watching the video or just started speculating wildly, which, of course, happens a lot. I don't always reply to the comments, but some of them kind of made me chuckle. Uh, why would Tom recommend that people use OpenSense if he can profit from all those private links? I don't know what private links this person's referring to. We are not a reseller of NetGate. I don't have any secret hidden links. As a matter of fact, if any of you have uh, called us or contacted my company about purchasing a NetGate device, you'll find us right away, not with an affiliate link, but just telling you contact NetGate directly to buy a device from them. We don't resell their devices here. And uh, that's the way things are. We don't even have any type of reseller agreement with them. Uh, we just happen to use the product. And most of my channel's reviews are based on the fact that we use a product or I know it very well, so I create a tutorial on the product. I do not tell people not to use OpenSense. My words more specifically are always the same. I don't have a use case for that. Uh, that's almost been a joke that I should probably put on a shirt because if I don't use a product, I don't do a tutorial on it because it takes a lot of knowledge to do tutorials. And if I don't use a product, I'm not going to do a good tutorial on it. So, uh, you want a good tutorial on something, it's usually because someone knows the product very well. I don't use OpenSense, but I don't have a problem if you do OpenSense. And I, matter of fact, specifically around OpenSense, I'd rather see people using OpenSense than like some consumer garbage routers out there. But I do want to leave people with options and let's jump right over to some options. OpenSense, if you want to use OpenSense, I have no problem with it. Do I plan on doing videos with it? Not at this time. I don't have a use case for that. That still hasn't changed. I have no problem with people who want to use OpenSense. There's these weird thing that if I use one product, any alternate product that competes with it must be terrible or something per the person doing the review. And that's simply not the case. This goes through other things like I use XCPNG for a hypervisor. People then assume, oh, Proxmox is a competitor. You must not like him. No, I just tell people to go over to Jay at Learn Linux TV because he has more tutorials on it because I don't use it, but Jay does. So that's my answer. It's not a dislike. And the same thing here. If you want to use, I don't have a problem. I don't know why that matters. Hopefully you're not using me of your only decision point here. Please don't. I actually encourage people to be more and more informed. I just happen to do a lot of videos on the product I use, which happen to be PF Sense. So if you want to use WireGuard and you want to use it inside of OpenSense, absolutely. Of note, there is no known code problems right now, but it is written using Go. It is a user space implementation. The excitement around the hopefulness we had for the PFSense implementation was going to be that it would integrate into the kernel as a kernel mode integration, offering a lot more performance than you'll get from a user space integration because of the way context switching, a lot of other details for the way kernel integration works. But it is a function working secure system over here. So there's no reason not to use it, even though they are based on a BSD style kernel. I believe they use hardened BSD over in OpenSense. Um, it doesn't have a kernel integration yet though for WireGuard. So that's where that situation is. If you want to use it, have at it. Back over here to Untangle. Now Untangle is Linux based and does have WireGuard VPN. And I've done a video on this. I've done several videos actually on Untangle and reviewed it. It's another thing that we've done tutorials on because we use and deploy Untangle. It's got a lot of nice filtering options. Matter of fact, it's kind of my go-to when people say, I really want really solid web filtering for either home or business. That's one of the reasons that we are officially a reseller of Untangle. But before you think that biases me so much, uh, I don't have any private or hidden links like it has been suggested when it comes to Untangle. Their uh, Get Untangle button is at the top for everybody. You don't have to buy through a reseller. I do happen to be a reseller because it's convenient when we have businesses that we deploy this to that want to just pay us for a service uh, as part of the firewall stack and we'll sell Untangle to them. And we're not telling them to go to Untangle directly for billing. We'll do all the billing for them. That's why we're a reseller. If you as a end user would like to get Untangle, um, either buy it uh, or get it for free. They have a free version, but unfortunately, and this is something worth addressing right away, WireGuard is not included in their free version, but 
it's a, an option when you buy their, like they have a home edition that you can get. And I've talked about that in other videos, but yeah, Untangle is another alternative that does have WireGuard built in, provided you buy some of their licenses, which I know make it a little bit less popular in a home lab because some people are looking for something for free. Uh, but if you wanted to get Untangle directly, absolutely you can. If you want to try it out for free, they can they even have a 14 day free trial for the advanced features such as WireGuard. Now, someone's going to be mad because they put WireGuard as an advanced pay feature. I'll agree with you on that. And because I, I may be a reseller, but I don't work in a management capacity at there. I would tell them that'd be cool if you guys gave that away for free. But hey, let's argue about that another day. This pops up a lot. Vios. Tom, you're not doing enough videos on Vios. I love Vios. I know a lot of IT people that use this. I know they really like it. I've seen it used commercially. It's a good product but I don't use it. Therefore, it's a big learning curve for me to stop and learn something. And then I won't be as good at it because I don't use it every day. So I'm. it would be really difficult for me to switch everything over to this and then learn it and then create videos on it. So once again, I'm not telling people not to use Vios, but when it comes to uh, Vios, it's like, hey, if you want to use it, absolutely. Of note, Vios has a complete command line interface for everything. So the command line interface means the learning curve once again, is a lot higher. So it's not like you can just load the web UI and start plugging away and drop a few checkboxes here and there and configure it. It is a lot more configuration for how you do things. Now that has some advantages because you can be very implicit, like how you set interfaces and they have tutorials and they do have good documentation and they have reached out to me actually. Uh, they would like me to create tutorials. This is a while back and I declined. I don't do paid sponsored videos where someone pays me to make a video on their product. It's not something I do here on my channel. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to use Vios, I have no problem with that either. Of course, um, I think it's a good product if you're just looking for my opinion on it. Untangle's good. Open Sense. Hey, I, like I said, I have no problem with it. Uh, so people seem really happy with it. So if Open Sense is your thing or Untangle is your thing, go for it. Now, the last one I'll address is Ubiquity. Now, Ubiquity offers their Unified Dream Machine and Dream Machine Pro is their popular ones. And they do have the USG and USG Pro for other, you know, routing functions. We Kind of shy away from those a little bit. That's one I have a little bit stronger opinions on when I say kind of don't use it. And that becomes a problem for some people like what, but I want that complete stack. And the reason I say kind of shy away from those is they are really lacking in features. And as soon as people start wanting features like WireGuard or that, you'll always find someone who posts in a forum of some way to bolt on extra functionality from the command line on the Unify stuff, but it's not baked in and it's frequently just plagued with problems and updates sometimes break those custom configurations. So we tell people, look, if you just need the most basic routing, like a home user who doesn't worry about VPN or anything like that. I think Ubiquity makes a product for that. So these are my thoughts and reply to people who, you know, are looking for alternatives to run WireGuard, run the system that works for you. It doesn't necessarily mean I'll make a tutorial on it, but if it's something that works for you, awesome. If it's a product that fits your use case very well, then that's good too. Um, I don't know of any known problems in OpenSense or Vios or Untangle that would stop you from using WireGuard in any of those, but I think they're all solid alternatives. If you really want to get WireGuard working today, and uh, don't want to deal with whatever's going on with the drama and PF Sense and the integration with the kernel version that they are working on right now here in March of 2021. So hopefully that helps and clears a few things up on there. So it's safe to use WireGuard. It's safe to use in Linux. It's safe to use on the other implementations. It is currently questionable right now to be used on PF Sense. So feel free to take that out of context and leave some other form of words that you reassembled down below because it does help with engagement when people comment on things. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a Sure project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a Join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store, where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly. So check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.